So today I'm going to be taking you through the steps I took to paint my 10mm Empire Handgunners by Mini Rat Studios. But I'm also using these exact techniques to also paint up the crossbowmen that they do, so you can have a good bit of crossover there. Anyway, the first thing I did was spray the models with Autotex Grey Primer. I then used Army Painter's Filthy Cape to cover all the cloth and feathers. I used Army Painter Gunmetal to paint the metal parts on the gun, helmets and chest armour. Lastly, I used Vallejo Heavy Red to paint one of the sleeves and legs in an alternating pattern as well as the banner before washing everything with Citadel's Norm Oil. After that was dry, I used Army Painter's Tanned Flesh to paint all the skin and washed it with Citadel's Reikland Flesh Shade. After that was dry, I used Vallejo Chocolate Brown to paint all the hair. I used Army Painter's Werewolf Fur to paint all the hats and satchels. I used Vallejo Flat Brown to paint the wooden parts of the weapons, banner pole and boots. I used Army Painter Banshee Brown to paint skulls and any bandages the models had. I used Vallejo Old Gold to paint hilts of swords and bullets wrapped around the models. And lastly, I used Army Painter's Leather Brown to paint all the belts, before washing everything with Citadel's Agrax Earthshade. After that's dry, it's time to layer everything up, leaving the shade in the recesses. And I started by using Army Painter's Spaceship Exterior to layer the white areas on the cloth, feathers and banner. I used Vallejo Bloody Red to layer up the red areas on the clothes and banner. I used Army Paint Out Leather Brown to layer up the hats and satchels. I used Vallejo Flat Brown to layer up the wood on the guns and banner pole. And lastly, I used Army Painter's Barbarian Flesh to layer up the skin. After that's done, they ended up looking like this. If you found this guide useful, please leave me a like, and hopefully you'll watch more painting guides. 